Okay, today we're going to get started with our opening activity that's here on the board. You also have it in front of you on your paper. Can you go ahead and complete the table for me? Today we did a review of using patterns to come up with the values of integer exponents and we kind of took that pattern and they applied it to solving a couple of problems so that we can see how when you get a negative exponent how it is the reciprocal of the positive exponent and when we get the zero power any number to the zero power is one and we use that pattern to help the students to understand it and we also use manipulatives on a different occasion to help them to solidify their understanding of energy exponents. Six to the fourth power is 1,296. Do all of you agree so far with her? Yes. Look at what she has. She has they must the have a deep understanding of numbers and when we first start out they don't have calculators so we can build on that number sense. They must know their basic facts. They must know um, addition, subtraction, all those things. They must have that number sense in order to apply it to higher math and they must understand the reasoning behind the answers they get and I tell them you're going to be doing harder, different, difficult problems but it's going to be still addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. You got to build upon their number sense. Make sure they have a solid foundation there. Take a look at what we have here. Now they put in some parentheses here and we know when we have parentheses we have to use order of operations. Order of operations. What am I going to do first when I use order of operations? I'm going to do what's in the parentheses first. Uh, some teachers use the concrete modeling first, and then the kids are able to apply it. But I've noticed sometimes with the group that I just had, I kind of go over patterns with them, let them establish the rules. Once they use those rules, then they're able to use the concrete modeling and work it with each other. You might have seen some groups today actually using their chips and modeling. They can use the concrete method that helps them to understand it better. So we use different types of ways. We use patterns, we use concrete modeling. I bring them up to the front so that they're able to teach the class to show that they understand what they just learned in class. They're able to demonstrate their understanding on the board. They're able to explain it to the students. Eight to zero power and eight to zero power equals one. So it'll be two to the second power is four. Four plus one equals five. Excellent. I agree? Mm -hmm. Very good. It's not just one way to solve a problem. You know, it's just different ways of doing it but you can understand math, you can use math and apply math. So that's what I'm working on. We're gonna go to a different level. You're gonna take this math and we're gonna break it down, chunk it, whatever you need to do in order for you to understand what we're doing. It threw me off the first time, but the teacher explained to me that if you have a problem like this, to actually look at the exponents, and we know that zero to, um, any number to the zero power is one. So when we look at the problem, we just basically start crossing out what problems we already did because we know that we're supposed to work out what problems in the um, parentheses first. So when we do what's in the um, parentheses first, we just basically add on the exponents and work the problem from there. Now my advice for other teachers would be to make sure you understand how your children learn, to make sure you use different methods in teaching the students, make sure the students are able to talk mathematically, be able to explain what they're doing, to make sure you use concrete methods for those students that need the hands-on um, examples. Make sure you allow the students to come up and present to the class. Make sure the students are able to write and give you their reasoning, not just to do calculations and come up with a response. Make sure students are able to justify their reasoning so that we know they understand the concepts that we are teaching.